Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the second episode of the second season of Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san. And last episode we had textbook forgetting, we had hypnosis, and we had stone skipping. It was a lot of fun, our characters having fun together, so let's see how they have fun this episode. Okay? Okay? Let's get into it. 3, 2, 1, fun! Funny with our opening. Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san 2. 2. Her Karakai might be Jozu, but is her Nihongo Jozu? That's the real question. Probably. I had to restart my intro a few times. So, if I seem a little bit impatient during the intro, that would be why. Just technical difficulties and stuff. Isn't it just kind of amazing how Takagi looks good in pretty much everything she wears? It's honestly pretty impressive. I wonder if she'll wear any of those outfits in the show. Probably not, but it'd be something, wouldn't it? And now we're into it. Yeah, it looks to be a bit on the cold side. I think she's implying that she wants you to hold her hand, uh, Nishikata. So, I want to get on that. Or that, maybe she was actually referring to that. Maybe she wanted that, but doesn't look like it. So, you know, you want to try the hand-holding thing, or... Ooh, I want to be careful of that. <laughs> she looks good in a penguin suit. See, told you she looked good in anything. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Well, don't slip on it. Let's walk around it. <laughs> no, he was thinking that if you walked over it, he could look at it and see a reflection of your pantsu. That's what he was thinking. Oh? What are we talking here? Whoever falls loses. I keep saying block of ice, but it's like, it's not really a block, it's just like a puddle, right? Frozen puddle? Like, it doesn't even look like a deep puddle. But, uh, I guess it's a little bit thicker than I thought. He's gonna lose. He's always, he always loses. It just doesn't seem panic to me. I think it will. Should have been here when it was hailing and the hail was bigger than golf balls. You would have had fun then. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea to do anyway, but... Uh, every time you get like this Nichikata, you always lose. <laughs> always. Always. But oh well. What are you laughing? You can't hear his internal monologue, can you? <laughs> uh, you gotta drop it. Uh, oh, nice save. <laughs> But yeah, I like Takagi's strategy. She carries such a small one because she's just under the assumption that he'll drop it at some point. That's how confident she is. Great bold strategy, but it'll probably pay off. <laughs> uh, there's an inappropriate joke there somewhere.
Yes, be very gentle. But also don't drop it. Oh. That does sound like it would be fitting for the situation. And the current ice, you would definitely need to have your hands warmed up, so, you know. Kind of what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> well, apparently he wanted to lose. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. You drop it the moment you find out what the penalty is. I'm not sure how much of a Batsu game this really is, but... <laughs> Why? What's wrong with this one? Why are you such a baby, Nishikata? <laughs> Come on. Warm her up. Although your hands are probably colder than hers, honestly, but... <laughs> uh, just looking away. All blushy, blushy. <laughs> well then. Appearance! Why are you wearing glasses? Why are you wearing glasses? What are you scheming now? <laughs> I guess that's one word for it. Sounds like a Takagi. No. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know, dude. You You expect you to notice this. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'll observe you closely, Nishikata. Yeah, she would never defeat you. That was just silly. <laughs> Man, those piercing eyes. I don't think I could have anything from her. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Imagine if the roles were reversed that little bit there. Oof! Oh no, my weak points! Well, yeah, of course. Can't attack a guy's weak points, not cool. Oh, close. Too close. Definitely playing dirty now. You kind of set yourself up for this, Nishikata. You gave her an excuse to observe you. <laughs> well, don't be silly. His face is always red when he's around you. Yeah, I couldn't keep. I couldn't keep my cool in this situation. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't know how I survived so long without Takagi in my life. Is this your first time watching the show, dude? <laughs> no. His eyes have always been way smaller than yours. <laughs> Embarrassed him? Don't be silly. Yeah, but can you endure it? That's the question. 
I'm, I'm leaning towards a no. <laughs> uh, not the ears, anything but the ears. Is any way too much to fun with this? <laughs> uh, that look on her face as she delivered that it was great. And yeah, you knew what it was the whole time. I, yeah, fair enough. Just the way she was circling him like a predator to the prey was great. Oh, the roles actually are getting reversed. Well, just turn it back on her by lifting up her shirt the way she did, you, did to you, and then if she says anything about it, you can just point out that she did it first. See what she has to say in response to that. But I know you don't have it in you to do that, so I'm not going to expect that. <laughs> uh, oh, did you change your hair to uh, Yukari, whatever your name was? I think it was something like Yukari. I know she's Mina. She's Sanai. I think the other one's Yukari. <laughs> okay, let's not cast stones in glass houses. I accidentally cut a lot. <laughs> Maybe she could give some of her eyebrows to you. <laughs> There we go. Find him back. <laughs> well then, I think we defeated her. Well... Well, it's not your fault. She... She kind of started this. Okay, so we basically made up now. You caught it, yeah. That's she's gonna laugh again. I knew she was gonna laugh again. I knew she was gonna do it. Uh, wasn't quite the kissing and makeup scene I expected, but oh well. Valentine's Day. So. What it means it means chocolate. She's, she's gonna give you chocolate, like homemade chocolates. Do we have physical education today? Not sure what that was about. I guess related to giving him chocolates in some way. Or maybe there's nothing in there and you're just going to be sad. I think that's what's happening here. <laughs> I could not hide that reaction. It was quite clear what his expectations were there. You're way too easy to read Nishikata. Have you learned nothing from her? Hail of Genji, I've heard of it. Never read it, but I've heard of it. Hello, book. <laughs> yes, you are. Well, Valentine's Day is probably an easy day to tease people. That depends. Will you give me chocolate in exchange? <laughs> you were so hopeful despite what you say. Here it is. Sorry I didn't include chocolates with it, but I just... how it goes. Oh, 
Oh, is there somebody you want to give chocolates to? <laughs> well, Nina seems to know how to do it. I'll take one. Take two, honestly, if there's an extra. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Just sp sp spreading her love to the entire class. I'm not sure you want a persona like me, this. Oh, you want one too? Uh, well, chocolate? What chocolate? Don't be crazy. What? Nobody said anything about chocolate. I'm clearly giving out the, you know. No, that was my chocolate. I made it. You can't just take my chocolate, Sensei. That's not okay. I was trying to spread my love to the class. You can't just take it all for yourself. Yeah, it's, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never ends well when you're trying to spread your love to everyone. Oh, you want some chocolate from her? Oh, did you already give it to Nishikata? Is that what you're trying to say there? Give it directly. Just make sure the teacher doesn't take your love and run away with it. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's not gonna bite you. It definitely make it harder if he's with his friends. That always makes it harder. Can I talk to you alone? I may or may not have something to give you. I did a little ribbon on it. Don't look at the chocolate she's trying to hide behind her back, and now everyone's looking and it's getting so embarrassing so quickly. Oh no, I feel so bad for her. That, yeah, I would have done the same thing, probably. Well, you tried. You can't say you didn't try. But once everyone starts looking, it's, yeah, harder. <laughs> How dare you hang out with other guys? What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's something much wrong with what you're saying. Why can't you just stay alone in the corner for a little bit so I can give you something? I don't think that's true. I think you would love your chocolate, but you ran away. Oh! It's right here, no need to yell. She is so tiny. <laughs> that's a good reason, yeah. Well, we're alone now, but you're still pretty embarrassed. I've been trying to give you chocolates. Just take my chocolates already. <laughs> uh, she's so cute. Well, too bad. These are for someone else. <laughs> That'd be funny, but... Oh, no! Hide from Sensei! We're not doing anything, Sensei! Go away! Go away, you don't touch this chocolate. You worked really hard to give this to him. But yeah, don't mess with my book. I don't get why they would even confiscate the chocolate to begin with. Like, I know Japanese schools are pretty strict, but... I don't think I've ever seen any other anime have a teacher do that. Just, like, take Valentine's Day chocolates like that. So, I don't really get that. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? <laughs> uh. Are we just sat over here without chocolates? Is that what's happening? Yeah, me too, but probably for different reasons. <sighs> if only. Which one's Hojo? I'm actually not sure about that anymore. 
He may have given it to him secretly, but... Like, hidden in his bag or something, I don't know, but... Because... They kind of implied as much with that previous scene. But if that's the case, he hasn't found it yet. If she did, like, hide it in his bag or something, or a pocket or whatever. Uh, okay, she got it back. That's good. <laughs> I still want one of her chocolates, but nobody cares about me, so... Whatever. Something gonna be in there? Okay. We put it in there later. I see. So probably like right after he left the locker the first time, she probably has to put it in there. <laughs> Just sneaking around the corner like a ninja. I got chocolates! Yeah, I don't think so. Because it's hers. Yes, her. Takagi. <laughs> okay, here's where our teasing line comes in. <laughs> this feeling is definitely Takagi. This kind of reminds me of a, the type of scene you would see in a... What was the anime called? Love is War or whatever. Well, Chichi Blows until now, but they actually have similar, somewhat similar plots. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, maybe they're both from her. I didn't have a chance to read what it said. I know it said Choco on it, but... Yes, they're both hers. Obviously. <laughs> and it's snowing. Barely, but it's snowing. No idea. <laughs> and who cares? As long as it's tasty, that's what matters. But it's quite clearly Takagi. I mean, who else would give him chocolate? Let's be honest. Uh, Takagi, 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 Takagi. She just purifies my soul. Just that voice and just the looks she gives. It's just... I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so perfect. All of it. I don't care what anyone else says. She carries this show. Straight up. This show would be mediocre at best if Takagi was not as wonderful as she is. But she's got that Megamine voice, and yet it's still very different than her, her you know, her Megamine voice. Like, I still hear Megamine every time she speaks, of course, but it's just... Just the way she says it, I don't know what she does, but it's just... It causes the orgasms, okay? And that combined with just the looks she gives you. Like, if she did that to me, that whole walking around, Ichikata observing him, things she did before, man, I don't think I could handle that. That would that would probably collapse after a couple minutes of that. But anyway, that was the second episode of the second season of Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san. And this episode, our first scene was the, the observation one, right? Well, first we had the opening. But then we had... See, no, I think the first scene was the Block of Ice one. Okay, yeah. Uh, not sure how much there is to say about this one. <laughs> they, they were walking around. They saw some ice. Nishikata was like, oh, cool, ice. I want to take it home. That's awesome. I love ice. And then they had some sort of competition going from it where they both try to not drop it. <laughs> and Takagi gets a little one. And Nishikata gets a big one. And then 
Nishikata drops it. Because Takuki does what she usually does with him. And that says something that causes some shock and embarrassment from him. And it just causes him to lose focus and fail. Like, that happens quite a bit. So that's kind of what we got there. And she laughed pretty hard after that happened, too. So that was also pretty great. <laughs> it was a fitting laugh, though, because, you know, pretty funny. And the, and the uh, punishment was just, you know, warming up her hands. Not how you would imagine, like, you know, hand-to-hand -hand rubbing and stuff, but he just had him take the pocket warmer out of his pocket and give it to her, basically. <laughs> you know, even though she didn't want it before. <laughs> but whatever. Let's see... And then we had the appearance one, right? So basically, I don't know, this one was a little bit odd from Nishikata's from Nish perspective. He was just like, hey, I slightly cut my hair. I bet you can't tell what's different about me. Like, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird competition that he came up with there. I guess he's kind of running out of ideas, but this was probably my favorite scene. Just, I don't know. Because like I said, just Tak Takagi had a field day in this scene because he gave her an excuse to just very slowly, carefully just observe him from all sorts of angles up close and like yeah, he really did not think this through at all, I don't think. Even a little bit of poking, so Of course she knew all along what it was, but she wasn't gonna pass up an opportunity to tease him, that's really what it comes down to. But anyway, that was an amazing scene, basically, is all I'm trying to say. Then we had a brief scene of our three side characters and some more hair-related shenanigans. But, yeah. She had this big hair, like, went all the way down into, like, here. And then it was just kind of all cut off. So, yeah. Once I actually take a look at the side-by-side, -side, it definitely is apparent. And then, you know, I had to be a laugh that you turned it back around on Mina. And, and she was all sad, and then she... Went full circle and she laughed at her again. And then the sec then the, the final part of the episode, which is the biggest part definitely, was the Valentine's Day segment. And this was pretty standard, I would say. We had various girls trying to give chocolates to people that they like. Well, in this case, she just gave chocolate to like everyone, like homemade cut chocolate, you know, Tezukuri chocolate to everyone. So that was a little bit surprising, but you know, I guess she just has a lot of love to share. It's really what it comes down to. And the one girl whose name escapes me wanted to give chocolates to the one guy, but it, it was difficult because he was always with his guy friends and, and all that, and it always makes it more difficult for her, but she eventually managed to get it done because he followed after her after she ran away. So, that's good. Yeah, the evil teacher kept trying to steal chocolates from people, which was not cool. Not cool at all. But, you know, as long as they get it back in the end, I guess it's fine. But it was pretty smooth, like, oh, she was just giving me a book, you know, wrapped up. Uh, I know it's a little bit unorthodox to give books on Valentine's Day, but it's, it's our thing, okay? So don't, don't worry about it. So that worked. That was pretty clever there. It was, it was, also, it was also a little bit of a little scene, but just when he opened the locker, uh, and, and, and Takagi clearly knew what he was thinking there, like, oh, I guess there's no chocolates in there. Like, yeah, he's pretty, he usually broadcasts his feelings pretty, pretty apparently, like, wears his emotion on his sleeve, which is what makes Nishikata so easy to tease, of course, because he does that. So, I don't know, I just like that a little bit, because, yeah, that would be a thing that you could very clearly notice. But yeah, the girl that was, the one girl that was trying to give the chocolate, she made a lot of good faces throughout the episode as well. A lot of embarrassed faces, and I like how she was just lashing out, like, how dare he hang out with his guy friends all the time? Why can't he be alone for, like, a few minutes so I can give him the stupid chocolate? Like, it was such an irrational rant, but, because it's, it's unrealistic, unrealistic to expect somebody just to stand around by themselves doing nothing, just to give you a chance to come and give them chocolate, so. Like, I don't know, I just gotta kick out of that, though. Because it sounds like it's kind of a selfish thing when you just say it out loud. Like, just, can you stay alone so I can do this? But obviously, it's for, they're trying to give you something, so it's not really the selfish, you know? So, I just thought it was kind of funny. Like a funny little rant she did there. And then our final scene, Nishikata actually opened his locker a second time, and boom! There was chocolates in there. 
That's all I wanted. Of course, he didn't know who it was from right away. And Takagi, of course, went in for the teasing. It's like, hey, Chalka, who do you, uh, who do you think it's from? Because, and that line just really reminded me of that one anime. I wish I could remember its full title. I know, all I can remember is the Love is War thing, but what was its actual Japanese title? I can't remember, but you probably know the show I'm talking about if you've seen it, but... Anyway, it reminds me of at least one scene from that show, and that, and that got me thinking that these shows actually are a little bit similar in some ways. Except that that show, it's more of a even gra even playing ground. But this show is like if one player was like couple, two or three levels above the other, whereas that anime, it's much more even. So it's kind of interesting to see that, but I never made a connection until that scene there. It's like, well, these scenes actually these shows actually are a little bit similar in some ways. Because, you know trying to get the upper hand of your opponent here. But because they're not even here, it's just more of a teasing thing. So it's basically like the direction it would go into if it was a bit less balanced. That's kind of what I'm trying to say there. But anyway, yeah, he could say, oh, is this from you, Takagi? Because then what if she says, what? No way, it's not from me. Why would you think that? You think I like you or something, Baka? Don't be silly. So he couldn't really say that. But it is quite clearly from her. So that's beyond obvious. I think it may be even obvious to him. But in the end, he got child cuts. That's what matters. But yeah, uh, good episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.